Happy Wednesday, guys. It's been an uneventful week so far. Monday, obviously, Super Monday was not a Super Monday because of the Super Bowl loss. But it was, it was okay. You know, I was happy for the Eagles fans. And then Tuesday was uneventful. But last night, Tuesday night, today is Wednesday, I went to the mall. Jay had to work late. I went to the mall. I went with a mission in mind. I wanted to look for an outfit or a top or something to get some sort of an idea of something to wear for a company event that we have on Friday night. And the company event is the awards banquet. I don't know if this is picking up the colors. I shot this with my Canon as well, and I'll see which one picks up the colors the best. I'm using the Sony right now. The event on Friday night is the awards banquet, and some people dress up super, super dressy, you know, evening gowns and cocktail attire, and some people are just more, you know, um, better work attire, and I just wanted something in between. I didn't want to go too evening -y. I wanted something I could wear on another occasion. And so this is what I got. I got these beautiful earrings. They are a light shade of pink, and they match the pink in this top. So if I keep this, I'm going to try it on later. I love the sleeves. The sleeves, I think, really made, made it for me. I don't know if you can see them, but they're really cute. So I do love oversized tops, so this comes down really low below the butt. And then I bought a pair of skinny leg pants. Not tights or leggings, but regular trouser type, but skinny legs. So that's what I bought, and I'm, I'm really, I'm going to try it on. I'm really hoping that it looks good. I did try it on in the store, but, you know, in those store mirrors, nothing looks super good. <laughs> At least on me. So it's Wednesday. We're expecting a nasty snowstorm today. Uh, 8 to 12 inches in our immediate area of heavy, wet snow with ice potential. So there's always, always the concern about losing power. Ugh. I am so hoping we don't lose power. This is what having a snow day has done to me. So for those of you that asked, you wanted to see what that little spiky thing looked like, I put it in my hair. So... I'll do a slow turn for you so you can have a good chuckle. I asked Jay, I said, what do you think of my new look? And I think he probably thinks I went off the deep end, and I probably did. But it's kind of, you know, fallen out a little bit. I still, I mean, I have my short ends, so I still have to do something with them. <laughs> but can you see it? So I have my little claw clip. I just, you know, twisted my hair up, put a claw clip in it. Then I took the little spiky thing, and it comes with a little clip thing, and I just, no bobby pins, but of course, you know, I haven't been out um, at all. And then on my eyes, I've, Marlene Fab and Glam, you would be proud of me. She said, you know, when you're not going out, when you're not working, play around. So I took my Viseart, and this is the, oops, cashmere. I think I'd like to get minx everyone talks about that but i didn't see that in sephora when i went i went to sephora's to get um to get my birthday present you know how they give you a birthday present so i went there to get my birthday present so i've been playing around with this i'm not a big fan of the brown look i do like the amethyst palette better but i have been playing around with it so i think i think she's absolutely right the more you play around with this the better you get yeah not that i'm better yet <laughs> But you know what I mean, right? I hope. It's going to be an icy ride in the morning. This is me actually trying to fix my hair. I forgot to put my lipstick on. I do have lip liner on yet, though, but I just haven't finished the rest of my look. I just, like, crack up when I tease my hair and I walk out in the kitchen or something, and Jay goes, Are you going out like that? You would think after all these years, he would know I'm not going out like this. I absolutely hate, hate, I don't know if you can even see this. There is a ton of product in there and a ton of product in there. When I squeeze this and squeeze it and it won't come out anymore, I figure it's pretty well close to empty. And do the same thing with my Retin-A, do the same thing with any other stuff in a tube. Then I slice it open. There is a ton of product in there. So what I'm going to do is I put it in a baggie. And then tomorrow morning, I'll scoop it out of there. The baggie helps it from drying out and makes it so that I can utilize the product. It does get a little messy, but it's worth it. So I'm, I'm letting my car heat up 
Jay scraped it, as you can tell, before he left. He was out there like a good doobie. We had a snowstorm yesterday, so it was another day off. I worked from home. I was able to get a lot accomplished, actually, and, and it was actually nice. But the bad part about a snow day is having to do all the different cancellations and having to make up the schedule and change the dates again. And it's just like, I don't know, it's, it's like such a... It's such a pain in the butt. So now I'm going to go out and make my way across the driveway and then into the office. I have my kaka boots on. When I say my kaka boots, I'll show you in a minute. I'll insert the picture. Um, these are like really secure boots that I wear that are, I shovel with. They look like crap. I usually carry a, a better pair of shoes when I wear these. But they're a no name. They're, they're not any kind of a name. But they're very, very sturdy and they're very, very warm. So my kaka boots and I are taking all my stuff and we're going to the office today and I have a yoga class tonight. I missed last week's yoga class. I can't remember why, but there was a reason. Oh, yeah, I had the hairdressers, so I knew that I wasn't going to be able to make that one. But tonight is yoga, so I hope I like it again. <laughs> I have all my stuff with me this time, all packed. So it's Friday, guys, and my thoughts have been with Sheila, Life with Lily, all morning. If you don't know Sheila, I will definitely link her channel below, but she's going through her surgery today, and she has an entire community on YouTube, and I'm sure an entire, her whole entire community where she lives and her friends and family praying for her today. So I'm feeling really positive and optimistic and sending Sheila all sorts of love. So tonight is our... I, almost said gold ball because that's the Century 21 days when Jay and I used to work for Century 21. It was actually called the gold ball. But tonight is our awards banquet and uh, we will, it's a, it's a, a dressy event. I did decide to keep that sweater that I showed earlier and I think I'm going to wear that tonight with um, a pair of black pants and shoes and it's, it'll be dressy but not dressy dressy. So, and I'll probably film a little bit. I am going to gasp <laughs> wear my fur coat it is like very very cold out and I got my fur coat years ago from my mother-in-law when she moved to Florida and it is an absolutely gorgeous fur coat I know some of you are gonna freak when you see it but you know hey I love it I figure that animal sacrificed its life a long time before I got the coat and I certainly don't want to uh, have it go to waste so I'm warming the car up and I'm gonna head out the door Hey, I forgot to show you or mention, I'll show you up close. I have a little bit of fritziness going on. These are my glitzy fritzy earrings that I got off of Mary Glitzy Fritzy's website. And these are the Diva. I love them because they get these little pearl things and they're named after Natalie the Beauty Diva. They have these little pearl things and they get this little crystal-y thing. And I think they're pretty, oh, and my my necklace. This was gifted to me from my mom. These are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pearls. So I really wanted to wear these shoes because I just thought it would make my outfit look a little bit more dressy because Jay kind of looked at me and he says, you're wearing that? And I went, yeah, I'm wearing this. I kind of thought it was, um, dressy casual. <laughs> Anyways, so I decided to heat the sweater. I'm going to back up. I don't know if you can even see this. I'm maybe out of, um, I may be out of the, I can't tell. I can't tell if I'm out of the screen or not. But, um, so I decided to wear the sweater, keep the sweater, and, you know, the sleeves that I love, the little pink earrings, my Apple Watch band that I had shown in a previous video. My burnt arm that I had shown in a previous video. So if I could just wear these, I'd feel a lot more comfortable. But now, just as a fair warning, when I come back, I'm going to have my fur coat on. So you might not want to watch. This is my, um, my fur coat. 
Oh, I'm going to twirl so you can see what I did to my hair if you care. <laughs> so anyways, I'm wearing my fur coat and um, I'm wearing boots instead of my... No word of the lie. These at least are 20 years old. But look at these heels. These are like a vintage piece. I wouldn't even have thought to wear them except that they really in style. <laughs> Again. Well, I decided to wear them. So it's Monday. I think this is going to be like a crazy, um, yeah, definitely I think a crazy vlog because it might be super long. I don't know when it's going to be published. The weekend was really kind of low-key on Saturday. You didn't do much of anything. But on Sunday, I recorded my birthday video. I had really, really been planning to do a birthday video ever since I saw Mary Ellen after 60s uh, do hers. But I hadn't really put together what I was going to do. And I, I knew that I had a diary, so I searched for it. And I put that together. So I'm heading to work. Jay just carried all my bags out to the car so that I wouldn't have to carry them out. He's such a good doobie doing that for me. But I'm going to head to work, and he's working to... Photobombed. Photo... It's a video bomb. Video bombed. <laughs> video bomb. How do I smell? You sure you have to go to work? <laughs> he still likes that perfume. That's a good thing. Anyways, um, I lost my whole train of thought. Men. Oh yeah, so he's working tonight, and so after work, I'm going to go to the mall. I've got a couple of things I want to return to Macy's, so I'm going to go get that done. And who knows what my day is going to bring, but I have a crazy week. I'm doing a presentation at one of our Board of Realtors on social media best practices, and I haven't even put the presentation together. So I don't know when this vlog will be published. It might be Saturday. I, I may add bits of that day in, or I may end it sooner. But that's my Monday. Later, guys. So I've been, I've been kind of reflecting all week. It is today's Tuesday, by the way, February thirteenth, and tomorrow is going to be my birthday, February fourteenth. And I, the song has just been going through my mind. You know, when I'm sixty-four, will you still love me, or whatever the, you know, the Beatles song, the words, and and I remember. You know, I remember hearing, listening to that song when I was younger, much younger, a kid. And I just remember thinking, oh, that is so old. Yeah, I certainly never, I don't know. When I was a kid, I just really couldn't even envision being 64. I really couldn't. It's like, oh my God. So what have I done with my life? Have I accomplished anything? What about regrets? Do I have any regrets? Do I, you know, what do I still want to do with my life? I mean, I sound like I'm thinking it's all over and it really isn't. What do I still want to do with my life? I still have goals. I still have dreams. And I really think that my goals and my dreams can be a reality. When I'm 64, oh my gosh. And I hate to admit it, but I'm kind of afraid of getting beyond this age. Now I know I shouldn't be, but and I know I look good for my age, and I know a lot of people can't even believe how old I am, but you know, there are, every day I look in the mirror and I see, you know, wrinkles and I see signs and I see little, little things that say, yeah, you know, you're an old lady. And, yeah, yeah, the fear of aging. Does anyone have the fear of aging? I cannot be alone in that. The fear of aging. It's like, wow. Next year I'll be 65. Ten years from now I'll be 75. And, and I know, I mean, my mom and dad, my mom is going to be 90 next month. My dad's a little younger than her. He'll be 90 in August. And 
up until the last year or two for my dad. He's been extremely healthy. So I, I know I have at least partially good genes for aging. Um, I have an uncle on my dad's side that's, you know, 110 um, and going strong. I think he's 110 or is he 105. I don't know. But anyways, um, I keep saying it's just a number, Monica. But crap, it really is it's more than just a number. It really is. It's more than just a number. And why am I afraid? Anyone else worrying about that? Anyone else have a fear of aging? Anyone else feel that way? Or am I just being silly, reflecting on the day before my birthday? And now I had better really go to work because I have a full day. And I think at noontime I'm going to um, do a TJ Maxx run. And then I'm going to try to clip my vlog together because we went to the uh, awards ceremony and you saw the clips, unless you fast forwarded through the fur coat, but we just had a great time and um, at the table that I sat at, we there were two other, and this goes into play with being, you know, aging, there were two other uh, girls, ladies, that we all went to Salem High School. We all went to the same high school. One was in the same class as me. We've known each other since we were kids. So um, Jane and I graduated in 70, um, 72, and Linda graduated in 1970. And it's like, wow. And then one of the guys at our table was a graduate of 1980 Salem High School. So it was like a Salem High School alumni night in a way because there were so many people, I mean, that went to Salem High School. But I really enjoyed sitting and, you know, having fun with both of my Salem High School pals. It was a fun, fun event. And I ended up wearing those shoes, as I think I mentioned. And... I hadn't planned on it, but I ended up going on stage and having to be the Vanna of the night, meaning that I helped give out the awards, which I normally do, but this year, and when I asked about it, nobody, everyone acted like, no, you know, we we're going to do it, I guess, differently or whatever, so I wasn't planning on it. So I figured if I wore those sexy shoes, <laughs> I wasn't going to have to walk around or be on stage and stand for a long time. Mm -mm, wrong. My feet killed me. I ended up taking the shoes off and dancing um, in my stockings, and uh, and that was that was fun though, you know. And then Jay had to work the next morning, so he didn't say super super late because he had an early class. So man, it was just a fun night. So I think I'm gonna end it. I kind of felt naked all day. <laughs> I didn't have earrings on. But, yeah, I think I'm going to end the vlog um, at this point, the day before my birthday. Only because by the time you see this video, by the time I piece it all together, um, it probably will be the Saturday after my birthday. So, um, yeah, you'll have seen my birthday video. So, no need to drag this out. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be 64. Oh, well, by the time you see it. And now I'm 64. Holy cow.